Hi, my name is Benjamin Gerald. This presentation will cover significant updates to FDM 210 for the 2023 FDM. A summary of major changes such as the Turnpike Design Handbook Migration, adoption of the 2018 AASHTO Green Book, and the sunsetting of FDM Part 3 are covered in the 2023 FDM Overview and TDH Migration Webinars. The major changes to this chapter affect the general section, pavement cross slope section, and the passing site distance section. In the general section, a sentence was moved from the criteria for 3R project section to clarify that existing features constructed to meet minimum metric criteria can remain for reconstruction and resurfacing projects without a design exception or variation. It was modified as a result of comments and concerns from, from districts and was not part of the TDH. This was more of a clarification. A new cross slope section was added to the standard pavement cross slope figures in the pavement cross slope section. This new four lane section was added to provide additional options for four lanes in one direction. This was, was a result of the Turnpike Design Handbook migration into the FDM. And typically, uh, the Turnpike uses this four lane section on roadways with design speeds of 70 miles per hour to be more compatible with future widening and to mitigate hydroplaning risk. The hydroplaning risk analysis subsection of the pavement cross slope section was modified to provide requirements for when a hydroplaning analysis is to be submitted. This was a result of the TDH migration updates and the updates to the hydroplaning risk analysis section in the limited access facilities chapter, FDM 211. Coordination with the district drainage engineer was previously required to determine if hydroplaning analysis was necessary. The sentence requiring this coordination has been deleted from the paragraph and it has been replaced with direction for projects with design speeds greater than or equal to 60 miles per hour with three or more lanes sloped in one direction. For more information on this new hydroplaning risk analysis requirement in the limited access facilities chapter, please listen to the FDM 211 webinar. The minimum passing site distance table was updated with the values for design speeds of 65 and 70 miles per hour. This was a result of the adoption of the 2018 AASHTO Green Book. As we reviewed the FDM figures, language, and tables for AASHTO Green Book updates, we noticed that this there was a, there were some values missing. This table was revised to be consistent with the design speed ranges for C1 and C2 context classifications. Thank you for listening to this webinar and please let us know if you have any questions.